Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use Ibram library. By using the Ibram library and this code, we will be able to save numbers nearly from 0 to 4.2 billion. You can use this library in many ways. We will see that in other videos if Allah will want. Let's start understanding this code. So pay attention with me. Let's start with a line one. Include Ibram.h Call the instructions of the Ibram library if I need them in this code. Line two. Unsigned long address room equals 100 the address of allocation on the room memory I choose the 100 line 3 unsigned long sum equals 0 the variable of a sum line 4 void setup to run once the code inside it line 5 opening curly bracket line 6 just a note but you set up code here to run once line 7 serial dot begin in 9000 and 600 the speed of data bits per second line 8 serial dot print length the system is ready write a message in the serial monitor to tell us that the Arduino is on I mean if you see like this message the system is ready on the serial monitor of the Arduino you will know the Arduino is on line 9 closing curly bracket line 10 is empty line 11 the void low to run repeatedly line 12 the opening curly bracket line 13 just a note but your mean code here to run repeatedly line 14 ibram.get address room comma sum get the value from unaddressed location on the room memory and bring it to a sum variable line 15 sum plus plus add one to a sum variable line 16 serial dot print the number equals write in the serial monitor of the Arduino com the number equals line 17 serial dot print sum write in the serial monitor the value of a sum line 18 serial dot print length Start writing in the new line of a serial monitor. Line 19, Ibram.pat, address room, comma, sum. But the sum value in unaddressed location on the room memory. Line 20, daily for 5000 milliseconds. Stop reading a code for 5 seconds. 
line 21 if character z equals the serial read when i enter the character z in the serial monitor line 22 opening curly bracket line 23 abram dot path address room comma zero but the zero in an addressed location on the room memory line 24 abram dot get address room comma sum get the value from unaddressed location on the room memory and bring it to a sum variable line 25 serial dot print length the last number is zero write a message in the serial monitor to tell us that the last number is zero line 26 serial dot print the number equals right in the serial monitor of the arduino com the number equals line 27 serial dot print sum write in the serial monitor the value of a sum line 28 serial dot print then start writing in the new line of a serial monitor line 29 closing curly bracket for the F condition line 30 closing curly bracket for the void loop it flows this one this one after we finish explaining this code we gonna download it on the arduino board in this video i use the arduino ono board before downloading this code we should select the com of this arduino board go to the menu of tools this one and click on it choose the board go to the serial board of usb choose the com7 of arduino ono this keeps changing according to arduino boards it's already chosen let's download this code to the arduino ono board so go and click the bottom of downloading the code this one click on it wait for the program until finish downloading the code Now program has ended the downloading. Now we can open the serial monitor from this button. Click on it. As you see guys the result on the serial monitor the number of the counter will keep increasing 
every five seconds. The number of the counter will nearly keep increasing from zero to one hundred thousand. I have closed the serial monitor, but if I open it again, just like this, you will see the result. You can write on the room memory location for 100,000. After that, the room memory location will get damaged. If you change the mode in the serial monitor to auto scroll, just like this, you will see the last number is kept inside the room memory location, even restarting the Arduino board again. That will not delete the last number was kept inside the room memory location of the Arduino so I'm going to restart Arduino to see the result on the serial monitor just like this by clicking on the restart button on the Arduino board As you see guys, the Arduino board will start counting from the last number was kept on the room memory location. As you see guys, all these numbers. until this number even I block off the cable of Arduino board the last number will not be deleted just like that I return to the serial monitor after I plug in the cable of Arduino Uno. And I click on the serial monitor button. As you see guys, the result in the serial monitor This was the last number. If you don't want to miss any number of these numbers, you have to add daily after line 8. Just like this. This daily for 3 seconds and redownload the code on the Arduino board. The benefit of the daily is to stop the void setup for 3 seconds.
that will help to stop increasing the number of the counter for 3 seconds at starting on the Arduino board and you will see that in the serial monitor the smallest number you can save on this ROM memory is 0 and the biggest number you can save on this room memory is 4.6 billion and more than that if you want to delete the last number was kept in the room memory of the Arduino board all you should do is to write the character Z on the text of the serial monitor and send it just like that as you see guys the last number is zero and we'll start counting again from zero and up One note guys, the restarting button of the Arduino Uno is this one. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe in our channel on YouTube. And don't forget to like our videos and share it with others.